in honor of this summer's Pokemon Presents, I thought it'd be fun to break down every Pokemon crossover and reference that appears within the Animal Crossing universe. So if you're a fan of Animal Crossing and or Pokemon, be sure to leave a like on the video and let's go. <laughs> Now, Animal Crossing is full of references to other Nintendo IPs and video games such as Mario and Zelda, but did you know Pokemon has also featured in Animal Crossing? There's not many references or crossovers compared to other franchises, but they do exist. Pokemon was first referenced in the original Animal Crossing in 2001 with the Pokemon Pikachu item. This item is based on the Pokemon Pikachu 2 GS, which is a step counter and virtual pet. It was obtained when asking villagers for work or through doing favours for them and must be delivered to another villager. It's a pretty cool reference. The second Pokemon reference in the original Animal Crossing was the Pokemon Pokeball design pattern. This was found on an official Animal Crossing e-reader card released alongside the GameCube. When the Pokeball design card was scanned in Animal Crossing, the Pokeball pattern could then be obtained and used as flooring and wallpaper on signposts and even as umbrellas and clothing items. Weirdly, this Pokemon reference was only found in the US version of Animal Crossing as for some reason the Japanese e-reader sets didn't include the Pokeball design card. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, there aren't really any Pokemon references in Animal Crossing Wild World. However, as you probably know, players can wish upon a star during meteor showers. In Wild World, and again later in New Leaf, successful wishes during meteor showers are later greeted with a letter from the implied character Wishy the Star. And this may be a reference to Jirachi, the mythical wish Pokemon. Wishy the Star will, of course, grant your wish in Animal Crossing, according to the letter which sounds a lot like Jirachi's Pokedex entry at the time, including a legend states that Jirachi will make true any wish, it is said to make true any wish that people desire, and finally, Jirachi is said to make wishes come true. The timeline of Wishy the Star makes sense given Jirachi the star-shaped wish Pokemon was introduced in Generation 3 and Emerald released only a couple of months before Wild World. So personally, I like to think Wishy is inspired by Jirachi. <laughs> Now, the biggest Pokemon and Animal Crossing crossover happened more recently and was of course the Pokeball scavenger hunt in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. To celebrate the launch of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee back in 2018, a Pokemon inspired event took place and introduced several Pokeball and Eevee themed items. The objective was to collect Pokeball gyrodite crafting materials, reach certain milestones and craft the Pokemon items. Six items were available including the Eevee rug, Eevee table, giant stuffed Eevee which is just adorable, the Pokeball, the Pokeball chair and the Pokeball rug. Three clothing items were also available including the Eevee tea, the Eevee costume and of course the Eevee hood. All really cool items. I guess Nintendo and Game Freak wanted to promote the Eevee version of Let's Go because no Pikachu items were included in the crossover event. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's pretty much it for official Pokemon references and crossovers in Animal Crossing. However, an honorable mention has to be given to the purple ringoid gyroid in Animal Crossing New Horizons who looks suspiciously like Driftloon, the purple balloon Pokemon. But I'll let you decide whether Driftloon is one of the gyroid developers' favorite Pokemon or nothing more than a coincidence. Thank you, of course, to the patrons and channel members for supporting this content and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.